Hey guys, welcome back for my Final Fantasy 16. So we just got some new freaking abilities. We got the infinite powers now, which is pretty awesome. I got to so freaking powered. Freaking Clive down and fought himself in this weird vision looking thing. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not good at describing Final Fantasy events here. All I know is that he fought himself. That's all I'm gonna say. And it's pretty epic too. And we turn to infinite once again. Since that uh, other fight with um, Ruda. Come on. What's going on, East Pool? Doesn't sound good. Sounds like a big stomp. Ah, oh, crap. This is not good. Looks like there's fire. I can see little things in the background. Dang. No. You're going to die. Just stabbing the dead body. You know, you're going to die. You freaking motherfuckers. You sick piece of crap, man. Yeah, I got my powerful, so you're going to die in a second. And I got their dragon straight. That's what I needed. Oh yeah, man, break time. Prepare to freaking die for my power. Okay, I ran now. Yeah, how many more soldiers are there? Got more? This is so messed up. They're all just trying to hide and just be peaceful for a while, and then this happens. Oh, the healers. Gotta take them out. I mean, this pretty much sums up humanity too, man. We do some little messed up stuff in the past history. Oh yeah, speaking of humanity just being messed up, I, I finished Attack on Titan, the uh, finale, a few days ago. It was freaking good, man. Check it out. I enjoyed it. Slay the Sword Attack and East Pool. Okay, same thing. I thought I was switched like ejectors for a second. Man, these guys are dragons, man. How do they even tame these things? You broke your barrier. Now we're gonna get tired of this. I was shooting fireballs at me, you freaking little crap. Man, there's a lot of them, too. Get down here. Get out here, dang it. Charge up. Spam this. I'm gonna keep trolling this guy. He's <laughs> just gonna keep blasting in the air. Here you are. Alright, okay, that takes care of that. God, Dana's man, big. The bearers and the 
those who sheltered them. My Empress Annabella's command. Freaking executioner. My mother would do this. Looks like one. Oh, he mentioned his mother. Oh, why'd she do this, though? Damn! He's staggered. Yeah, mother of the year. Definitely. Go oh, freaking crazy on this dude. Crap. That's a divine hammer. Oh, you freaking dick yard, door. Are right, you about to get staggered again? Here we go. Tough freaking lead. Oh, I died already. My goodness. Oh, he's been blocking it this entire time. I didn't even notice. Oh, he's down. I never even noticed he was blocking through all that brightness. I'm sorry. Damn. on the orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them. When the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Gav. We want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. What a freaking bloodbath, man. Now, rats, 
Lead me to your nest. You freaking. Lord Kutger's message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. <laughs> This man has a really freaking punchable personality. Well, now I got to go back to the uh, hideaway. All uh, right, and wrongs. To sit solo, then. We have a lot to discuss. Well, since we're here, let's take a look around with the uh, merchant. Anything new? Go on then. I'm sold out. <laughs> oh yeah, because we're using the uh, the new equipment. Well, this may not make sense. It's better if we just like go to this guy and reinforce it, make it stronger. What do you want? Okay, so we can't reinforce that stuff. It's a very special item. I guess if it's a rare, that means you cannot interact with that. I guess when we got when you put the father's armor on and everything, it's blocking that out. It's only yes. usable at the beginning of the game. That makes a lot of sense. I like that. Makes it more logical. Let's go buy some potions in instead. Yes. That's more important the potions. You cannot find a better price than that. It'd better all be here. You cannot find a better price than that. Okay. Guess we're good then. Come again. Oh don't. I'm not much bothered either way. The visit said solar. Do you got any quests available? No, that's it. Always good to take a breath. This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this. Gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant, Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk, no matter how colorful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then, with a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. <sighs> One 
What trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital. And oh. pay a visit to Mother. Oh, this is gonna be a nice happy reunion. Not really. What a nice castle, though. And the last of our farm holds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we will be hard pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but ball and bluster. Your radiance? If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the Crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we are sworn to respect. Gentlemen, did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that... Uh, oh, yeah. well, I, 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 the gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea. Sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. <laughs> Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of great Grieger. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> there will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legion? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Dalmex. I will not <laughs> keep you. You all have much to do. Uh, he do be looking fly though. Man, this place looks so freaking nice. The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Orther. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. Can you imagine how long it took to even build it? I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the mother crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer until I saw it standing right in front of me. 
there in the self-same crystals we look to for their so-called blessing. Crazy. All right, listen. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. And where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mine from the mother crystals. They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this ear fits more easily in the pocket. But the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. As to where it's all going, mind, well, I can't know everything, can I? We are taught that the mother crystals are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Who says they didn't? Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? The higher-ups? The gods themselves? So now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down, in order to build us a new one. What say you? Are you with me? I oh, yeah. It's about time I repaid your faith. <laughs> you could have just said I. Well, it's <laughs> nice to have you aboard all the same. I like that little owl over there just chilling. What have I got myself into? I got some new quests available. A few potions for this. Go check it out. A red letter day, huh? We got two of them. Oh, then let's go take a look, shall we? Don't mind me. Just taking a quick New crafting available. I'll speak with Sharon yet. Let's take a look at the blacksmith for a second. I see I'm busy here. I'm not saying for you, dear. Oh, cool. Flame tongue. We can also do this. Not bad. If I do say so myself. They reinforced. Okay, that's it for now. That it? Fine. I'm double checking to make sure if I equipped it. Okay, good. Uh, we'll check the closer one first. Let's do the issue. Where are you, Randall? Is everything all right? Forgive me, young man. I was in a world of my own. I'm worried about my friend. You see, he left some time ago and hasn't returned. You know what it's like out there for a bear on his own. Why leave the safety of the hideaway? Coin. Sad though it is, our need outweighs the risk. The hideaway can't survive on goodwill alone. 
And though Karen does what she can, her coffers aren't bottomless. Wait, you were a soldier, were you not? In the Imperial Army? I was. Then, I ask a favor of you. I'm too old to be traipsing hither and yon. Will you go and find him for me? Oh, why not? I'll do what I can. Go lend a hand. Oh, thank you. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Randall, and I suspect you'll find him in Lost Wing. He's been working for Quinton, the tavern keeper. He'll know something, I'm sure. I'll speak to him. Safe travels, my friend. And thank you again. All right, Chris accepted. You speak with Quentin and Lost Wing. Yeah, I gotta activate this next one too. We can activate both of them. We'll do um, two things at a time. The courier. You've lost a letter. Nothing too important, I hope. Not just a letter. I lost everything. There's a hole in my damn pack, and fool that I am, I didn't bloody notice. It can't be that bad, surely. How could it be any worse? I'm a courier. I carry things. If I can't do my job right, then what am I good for? Nothing, that's what. I buggered it right up. That means no herbs for the infirmary, and no fresh meat for our cooking pots. Worst of all, that letter I lost? It was for Sid. A letter he's been waiting on for days. Maybe if you retrace your steps. I'd scour storm from coast to coast if I could, but there are curse breakers in the field, counting on my arrival. No, I'll just have to own up to Otto and Sid. They're gonna skin me alive. Eh, uh, I'll be in trouble if I don't. Fine. Tell me where to look. Are you serious? Thank you. It sounds like the hideaway could use those supplies. So, where should I start? Gotan's bales, perhaps? I took a tumble in the bushes when I was passing through. There's a chance my pack might have caught on something. If you can find everything I dropped, you'll be doing us all a favor. And if you can find Sid's letter, you'll be saving my life. If it's there, I'll find it. Wonderful. Now, I have to run if I'm to make my next delivery in time. I trust you can find your way to Gotan's bales. Oh, and hurry, will you? Sid doesn't like to be kept waiting. I'm sure he doesn't. Yeah, it seems like it. And query, quest accepted. Now we got two active quests available. The letter won't last very long out in the elements. I should make for Sambrek as soon as I can. Uh, first, we're gonna do um, the one with the needs of many in the lost wing. Go to the world map. Oop, wrong button. Hey, uh, either this one. Yeah, lost wing. We'll go to this one. Alright. Go speak with Quentin and Lost Wing. He's right in here. Alright, speak to the merchant. Let's go get some uh, spells. Potions, if he has any. We have enough potions? Just double checking to make sure. I trust it's all here. I guess we activate the um, the merchant menu. I guess it's red because of the outfit we're wearing. I guess I thought it was blocked off, like blocking out something for a minute. Ah, if it isn't Sid's young protege. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm looking for a bearer called Randall. I hear he's been coming to you for work. He was expected back at the hideaway some time ago. A friend of his asked me to check on him. Randall, you say. 
The porter. Yes, yes, I know him. And I can't say I'm surprised if he has been delayed. I gave him enough to do. Though, thinking about it, he should probably have been back by now. I'll go and look for him. Where was he headed? He was to meet an associate of mine to the south of here, on Lorbert's Pass. I do hope nothing's happened to him. Be sure to let me know, Clive. All right, I will take care of it. Let's search for Rando and Lobert's Pass. We're going the right way. The letter. He's a many. Okay, this direction. So many green circles around here. I'm just trying to make sure I'm going the right way. Hey, is there like a fast show point now? We're going to go there like on foot. Just hoping I'm going the right way. Oh, did the woods we go? Man, this game is pretty interesting. It's really a fascinating Final Fantasy game. This is like my second one. I haven't, like, Final Fantasy VII Remake was my first Final Fantasy game I ever played, so this is my second one. I always wonder how it felt for people to play the first one from back in the day. I wonder if it was very hard back then. Stepping on these twigs, sticks. Oh, you good, buddy? Are you all right? The hanged man. Thank the gods. You're one of us. We were attacked. Beast men on the road. Randall knew he didn't play the hero, but. <laughs> The sod insisted on drawing them off. Where did this happen? Further down the road. In the clearing. Please. You have to see that he's safe. I'll do what I can. You go back to Lost Wing and tell Quentin what happened. Alright, so we got a problem. Let's go take care of it. Freaking beastmen. Oh, the goblins. <laughs> these things. You haven't fought these things in like so long. Trying to like the last time you fought these as Clive, it was like 13 years, wasn't it? Maybe he has fought in them like when he was older in certain places. Freaking hell, Gigas. And a freaking tough lass. Alright, he staggered. Freaking chubby as heck. Gotta lose some pounds, man. You gotta lose some weight. Come on. Let's go all out. Got a big swing. Nice parry. Okay, special attack time. Nice dog, uh, fully charged. Finish him off. Okay, Goblin Selene. You got some bone necklace, valley matter, and right. Nice. 
Let me click on my abilities real quick to make sure I'm using this thing right. Infrared stuff, ignition. Talk about charging. Someone to storm fireballs. Am I even using this thing right? <laughs> Hmm. Unless they got different um abilities and attributes. That's just the um side stuff. Yeah, I'll figure it out eventually. But anyway guys, um we're gonna stop the video right here. We'll see you on to the next one. Later.